So I'm just going to give you a quick little walkthrough of our place, um, just to give you some ideas. Kind of what, I don't know, I've done, um, members have, you know, tossed out some ideas to help make things a little uh, more homey um, and uh, just help the place flow a little bit better. So stand by. This is our little I don't know, hangout area. Uh, it's kind of a catch-all, but I got the furniture dirt cheap at a secondhand store. I think I paid like maybe seven bucks for that and maybe seven bucks for that. I don't know. Those end tables were like ten bucks for the both. Uh, the old hospital chairs. Um, just have a place so members can sit and chat. Um, makes it I don't know. It helps. It helps with the community aspect. We also sell supplements. It's just a good way to help. Um, you know, create some side revenue. I, my stuff is priced super cheap um, because I do it for two reasons. One, <clears throat> side revenue, and uh, uh, two, I want my members to have good stuff. I read, I research about everything that, that we use here before uh, I start selling it. And, you know, I've taken this About Time Protein for uh, almost two years now. I like it. My my family uses it. My wife, my my parents have used it my sisters kids so I just that's just what I prefer um, we have a little sales sheet if somebody takes something you know they just write down you know the date their name what they took um, how much it was how much is due and then they sign it and we have uh, I can charge their their credit card now at the end of the week you know business cards pamphlets got our waivers right here nothing real fancy um, we also have, you know, some storage space is nice. Granted, whenever I first opened, I was in 2,000 square feet, and then we just kind of grew from there. You know, I'm, I'm not big into frills. Um, I'm not big into, you know, the fancy paint and, and all that stuff. It looks awesome. It's very welcoming. It's exciting. It's fun. It's just not me. And every, every CrossFit gym is going to take on the personality of its owner or owner's I'm a sole owner, you know, no, no, um, investors, no loans, nothing. I just, I started from scratch and, and worked up, you know, $15,000 was my budget when I first opened. And, um, you know, I came in just under that 2000 square feet. Like I said, it was cold, not very good heat and zero air conditioning. It was what it was, you know, I had eight members and we just grew from there. Here's our kids room. Um, Nothing real fancy, just a few toys. I don't recommend telling your members to bring in any old toys they don't want anymore because you are going to get hammered with junk. Um, so a lot of the toys have been removed. Um, I don't want anything else to in here that kids could I don't know, swallow or whatever. Just old furniture that were given to us by members. Um, that helps. Bathrooms, I recommend at least two if you can get get there. Um, we've got a shower in this one, and it's nice and large, so people can change. People can also change back in here as well. So two toilets, two sinks, that's nice. Going back to storage, uh, you know, I just, I like to keep my tires in, indoors. Just, you know, so they don't get weather, weather on them and, you know, water and mosquitoes and all that jazz. So if you got the room, great. If not, keep the stuff outside. It's kind of my little project area. Um, Parallettes, whatnot. Here's our kids' room, the entrance to the kids' room, so the parents can see their kids. You know, some places will have a glass window or whatever, but you want to be able to see the parents to be able to see the kids. Not so much the kids be able to see the parents. That's why we have a higher wall. But if the parents want to go and kind of stick their head in, they can. The upstairs we just use we don't you really use it for anything Pilates, um, but it's there. So this building's 8,000 square feet. We have 4,000 over there, 4,000 here. This is kind of the storage, but we can also use this this area for all sorts of stuff. Um, when we when we've hosted seminars, jumping rope seminar, um, powerlifting, endurance seminar, CrossFit, um, you know that was very very handy to have that. Um, you know, you can have an information board, just post up whatever. I have not updated that thing in about 
two or three years. Um, trainer certs. This is uh, kind of cool. I don't know. It's our member business corner. So we have a lot of members who own businesses or whatever. So it's just a place for them to put their business card. You know, again, community, um, you know, support one another. Just some little storage bins there for people to keep weight belts, wraps, shoes, whatever. Um, this is probably one of the best things we've done is is got on the Fit Aid. Um, it's a recovery drink. As a matter of fact, I want to grab one. Um, they are awesome. Uh, it's a good, again, a good source of side revenue. Uh, people love it. Uh, we've sold the snot out of that stuff. It's it's good. Um, and recycle the cans. Jump ropes are a mess. I hate them. I've got some of them hung here. I've got another nail over there on that piece of wood. I hate them. I want everybody to own their own. But whenever somebody starts out, it's you know, it's like, hey, welcome. Here's your first day. Buy a journal, twenty bucks. Buy a jump rope, fifteen bucks. You know, you can just you know buy supplements. Before you know it, they've just dumped two hundred bucks. Great for a business owner, whatever. But you know, I wouldn't want to do that. So we do still have the jump ropes. I use um, just a hose holder, garden hose holder form. But I hate them, just like I said, because they get they're a mess. Uh, I try to keep them sorted. You know, this is supposed to be for the short ropes. This is supposed to be for the long ropes. The short ropes have orange tape, and that one's on the long rope. So, yeah, OCD, whatever. But, um, yeah, I would recommend encouraging your members to buy their own rope. Uh, little shelves for people to keep their stuff. Um, you know, some mobility stuff, the foam rollers, your PVC, just uh, extra junk that we use. Um, you kind of keep them stored out of the way here. Flak jackets and backpacks and whatnot. Got our mobility, you know, our lacrosse balls. Poker chips, we use poker chips to count reps, rounds, whatever. It's festive, it's fun, and it's it's easy. Um, doing push-ups, if somebody's not hitting the proper depth, then um, that one wasn't easy. That was easy. That one was. So I call those easy push-ups. They their chest has got to make make the clicking noise or make them talk. Um, it's kind of again my catch-all corner. A little stereo, nothing fancy. You know, we, we're not we don't go too loud with it. Um, again, try to just store things the best you can. Um, I don't know. We I I I just do little bits and pieces at a, at a time of what I can buy. Um, you know, I don't want to charge up my credit card or anything like that a goal board is nice goals and a target date um, gives people a carrot to chase so that's good boxes we had a box building party about 10 sheets of plywood and we built 10 boxes and had some of our members came in and helped these boxes here our first boxes that i ever made are just pallets i got out of the dumpster i screwed them together um, found some scrap plywood and i just put a skirt around it and Boom, you got jump boxes, 20, 24. Um, and then I just added an extension, removable extension, for the 30 inch. Um, kettlebells, you can see we don't have a whole bunch, but we make it work. And if I get a little, little chunk of change here and there, I'll buy, you know, buy some more. The Atlas Stones are fun. People love them. Those were given to me by a buddy up, uh, up the road. So, CrossFit, uh, Dropping Plates CrossFit up in St. Roberts, Missouri. There you go, Greg. There's your plug. Um, you know, I like hanging shirts. Um, CrossFit joints I've been to. I don't know. It's just, this is my house. This is my closet. My So I just, I don't know. I think it's cool. Yeah, we do a lot of bench pressing. Um, some CrossFit joints don't, but we do that. That's part of our programming. Um, I color-coded the plates and painted them just because again OCD uh, you know not everybody puts everything back where they're supposed to go like that right there busted I have no idea what that's doing there um, I made that it's just particle board PVC and uh, some clamps I screwed it to the wall that was my first bar holder ever my cousin um, made this shotgun rack you know, you can swap out, you know, membership dues for stuff like that. You know, I mean, that's freaking awesome right there. Put that into the wall. 
Um, the wood on the wall is nice for handstand push-ups, um, so people aren't kicking kicking holes in the wall. The mats mats get pricey, but they're a necessity. Um, I use like to use this metal trim here. Uh, just screw it to the concrete, and it keeps the mats in place from sliding around. Our first location did not have that, and that was pretty horrible. Ropes. She got them tied up up to the the beam there. It's 20, 25 foot center, and it tapers down to about 20 feet over there. So, got one rope with knots in it for some people so they can at least try to climb. Rings, same thing. Just hung them up and over. I put carpet in between the strap and the band because that would really be a bad day if one broke on somebody. Powder, uh, the chalk bucket. Too easy. It's a four by four piece of plywood. Screwed it in the bottom. Screwed the uh, Ace Hardware bucket to it. It was all. For, uh, I paid three bucks for the bucket. Other than that, it was all free. And painted it to match our fancy dull brown walls. Um, Harbor Freight has got these rollers, the little uh, dollies. And that's what we do. I just push them around. We store our plates over there in the corner. But our rack is over here, so when we're doing, you know, um, like today, one rep max front squat. So we just push the plates over here, keep it simple. Weight benches, um, get as many as you can. I need more, actually, because like I said, we do a lot of bench pressing and we use them for other things. I used to write the workout here. People write the results there, but then as you grow, you realize that that is not enough room for everybody. So we flip-flopped it. We write the workout here. And then everybody writes their results here. Um, this is kind of nice. People are like, what's an HSPU? Well, there you go. Well, it's a legend. Put the address for emergencies, 911, in case something happens. Um, somebody else had that idea, and I thought that was wonderful. Our basic training class, our endurance class, and just admin notes. Um, I don't know why the thermostat. I just like to know what it feels like in here. PR boards, all your major lifts, some workouts. Those right here, um, those are your percentages, one rep maxes, 80% you know, of your one rep max, whatever. I found this wooden crate out back. Boom. Perfect for storing the med balls, except for that guy. I don't know what about, don't worry about that guy. Airdynes, get them on Craigslist. I don't think I've paid over $200 for one of them. Uh, rowers, they are what they are. They're expensive, but you know I've got three, and we make do with what we've got. Um, GHDs, awesomeness. Actually, this one right here, I think, what is it, a Yukon or something? I don't know, it was like 200 bucks. Yeah, Yukon. These two, they're not bad. They're not ideal, but they're not bad. The foot plates are way too small, but, you know, they they suffice and we use them a lot um, resistance bands we use those so again my OCD red bands one inch bands and those are like inch and a quarter inch and an eighth and one inch two and three inch bands and the orange and blue micro minis over there <laughs> that guy has become a catch-all we don't hardly ever use it wall ball targets I probably would have gone smaller. I thought it was kind of neat to put the, you know, CFO CrossFit the Ozarks up there, but you have a lot of people that are just aim for the very bottom instead of the center. The center of the F is eight and ten foot, so whatever. Here's why it's good to put the wood up on the walls. So that's going to be kind of pricey replacing that stuff. So I need to go and get more of that to prevent further damage. Clock hung where everybody can see it. The rig, when we started out, we were, had a 10 foot rig. This section, that's the four foot section, and then the six foot section here. That's all I had. Um, and then we added another four foot section, and then we added another six foot section. So uh, that's why that's why I went with the Rogue. I like the island, the center, because you people can work around it. Our wall is not real secure to hold it all. 
plus we do um, use the resistance bands for accommodating resistance so you have a place to anchor for deadlifts, um, uh, cleans, whatnot. Spiel bars, awesome. I love them. I prefer the raw metal bar. I, I don't know. I just do. Uh, that was a full spiel bar. I cut it in half and put them out here in the ends. It was an extra. So put them out in the ends. The kids bars or the little shorty bars like that are awesome. Rogue calls them the youth or kids bars, I think. That was adjustable. People love them. Um, the double bars, they're great for stabilizing the rig. Um, but, you know, you can see with the spill bar, I, I don't like the double, the double row ones. I prefer just to go singles, so that's what I started doing. You can see what I bought first, and then what I bought here, all singles. Um, this rig is awesome. It's had a lot of, a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of miles on it, three years. I don't recommend anybody but Rogue for their pull-up rig. You can shop price or you can shop quality. I chose quality over price. Never had any issues. Uh, these straps, it's a, let's see here. I forget the name of the lever, what they call it. Those are Rogue. But those straps up there, yeah, like seven bucks a pair. So if you buy rings, I like the wood rings. Um, this is the old plastic my first one's ever had, but I prefer wood. Um, and then, so you can just buy a pair of wood rings and then buy straps for like seven bucks online off of straps.com or something like that. I don't know, look it up. But that is it in a nutshell. Um, one of our members brought in all the dumbbells. That was awesome. Thank you, Chris. Um, yeah, just kind of build your own stuff, build what you can. Um, you know, try to keep your overhead down. That's when you, you'll, you know, make more in the end, you know. So, all right. So I hope that helped um, give people some ideas uh, what to do. Some of these ideas I've gotten from other gyms. That's why every time I travel, I always stop by another CrossFit joint. I want to see, you know, what they got going on, introduce myself. Um, you never know what you might learn. And, or you might, you know, be able to pass on to them. I'm not, the only thing I'm, I don't like to share a lot of are, are workouts. Simply because those are my brainchild and children, whatever. But our programming is pretty effective. So I don't post it online. Only our members pay for that, um, that right or privilege to, to see the workouts and do the workouts. So I don't want somebody in Oklahoma doing them for free. So, you know, teach their own, whatever. Um, barbells, I didn't really talk about that. Equipment, I'm, you know, I've used Rogue primarily for just about everything. Um, the Get RX, you know, they get, they get, I got some ladies barbells from them. They're fine, they're good, no problems, no, no complaints. X training equipment, another great company. Um, so I mean, as far as who do I recommend for equipment? Rogue primarily. Um, Wright. I ordered, you know, when I first opened, I got some of my kettlebells. I think from Wright. Um, I've never done business with Christians Fit Fitness. Again, faster. I've never done business with them. Um, and I'm not saying that they're bad. I just don't have any experience with them. Um, but Rogue, hands down, you know. It's good stuff. Um, I've got, you know, the bumpers, the VTX style bumpers, like these. The VTX style bumpers, whatever, I, not to bust out the name brand, but this style of bumper, they just, they get, they, they're, they're trash. They just don't last a long time. Um, Rogue, this is one of the first bumpers I ever bought. It's the high temp. Whether you buy you know, the Rogue brand or just high temp brand, but these high temp bumpers are the way to go for a commercial gym. High use. I've had these things three years. And just, they're just as good as the first day I got them. So these are about, 
Oh, the piece of metal coming out of that one. These are about seven months old. So I'll never buy them again. But uh, yeah, that's that. Barbells, um, like I said, X training, I bought barbells from them. Um, my first set of five barbells were Rogue, and then I bought some more Rogue. The beater bar, these are the beater bars. They're good bars. They're 31 mil. Um, this is the one from X Training. I really like these. They're bushing bar. Uh, they're 28 mil. These are the original Rogue Bruiser bar, I think. Rogue bar, I don't remember. Uh, it's pinned, but it's a 28.5. Um, our ladies bars from Get RX, 25 mil bearing bar. Um, so, yeah, collars I just buy them locally. Just go to Sears, They're like five bucks a pair, whatever. So, uh, these are cheap, like Academy, 75 dollar bars. They're fine for bench pressing, stuff like that. Technique. Um, speaking of technique, I I recommend getting some of the lighter, you know that bars like that 15 pound bar is awesome for technique bars um, don't have to spend a lot of money on those but uh, I think that's pretty much it uh, the jumping rope folks that came Molly Metz um, I though in my opinion the best jump rope it's it's the handle it's the bearing it's those are the money right there well made ropes I like them um, bleach water for cleaning off equipment get people doing that my people are starting to forget um, markers you're gonna go through them if anybody can hook you up with those awesome uh, journal menu these are our new journals we got I highly recommend some way for people to record their results um, they need to see where they've been and map out where they're going so, all right. Well, I hope that helped um, give people some ideas of, um, you know, starting a gym. Don't start too big, or you can if you want. I don't care, but I wouldn't. Um, if you want to, you know, you want to outgrow, outgrow what you've got. Uh, and just kind of creep up from there. So, alrighty. Thanks. Hope it. Like I said, hope it helped. Bye. I've actually gotten a lot of business from people seeing my truck. Um, they'd call me, I guess, go to the website and get the number while I'm driving. So I, uh, I highly recommend doing something other than just a bumper sticker on your, on your vehicle. You're gonna, you'll pull some business that way.